Good morning. Today I will discuss the class Bacillariophyce, which are commonly known as diatoms, and these are algae. Diatoms are microscopic, and these are microalgae. They occur in fresh water, marine water, and also are terrestrial. So these are cosmopolitan in distribution. Cynetra and Nabicula are freshwater forms. Gomphonema and Eunosia grow epiphytically on other freshwater aquatic algae. Triceratium and Hylodiscus are marine diatoms. Humidophila and Cellophora are found in terrestrial habitats. This is the picture of some of the diatoms such as Cynetra, Nabicula, Gomphonema, Eunosia, Triceratium, Hylodiscus, Cyclotella, and Lycmophora. According to shape, diatoms are divided into two orders: centrales and pennales. In the order centrales, centric diatoms are found, which have radial symmetry. Example of centric diatoms are Cyclotella and Triceratium. In pinnales, pinnate diatoms are kept. which have bilateral symmetry pinnularia and navicula are pinnate diatoms and they have bilateral symmetry bacillariophyce is divided into main two orders centrales are also known as biddle phyales and order pennales is known as bacillariales order centrales is divided into three sub orders coccinodicini in which the cells do not have polarity Rhizosolenini, in which the cells have unipolar symmetry; Bidelphini, in which the cells have bipolar symmetry. There are two suborders of order pinnales. Fragilarini have araphid diatoms, diatoms in which raphe is absent. In Bacillarini, the diatom cell has a raphe. Raphe is a slit in the diatom cell. which helps in the gliding movement diatoms have spherical oval triangular rod shape or boat shaped cells diatoms may be unicellular or the cells may be joined together with the help of mucilage forming a colony the cells are peculiar in diatoms they have rigid two part box like or petri plate like cell wall composed of pectin and the pectin is impregnated with silica silica is present in the form of hydrated silicon oxide the cell wall of diatoms is called frustule diatoms have siliceous frustule cell wall in which silica is deposited and the siliceous frustule is constructed of two halves the outer or larger half is known as apitheca and the inner smaller half is known as hypotheca hypotheca is fitted inside the apitheca just like the petri dish when we see the external morphology the pinnate diatoms have a median raphe or a slit which helps in gliding movement raphe is divided into two parts due to the presence of central nodule at the two poles of the cells two polar nodules are present the cell wall also shows some striations or wall markings the outer part of the cell wall is known as apitheca and the inner one is known as hypotheca the apitheca has a valve which is known as epivalve and the rim of the epitheca is known as epicingulum similarly the valve of hypotheca is known as hypovalve and the rim of hypotheca is known as hyposingulum the overlapping parts of epicingulum and hyposingulum makes the girdle so the rim portion of epitheca overlaps the rim of hypotheca forming a girdle the cells in diatoms are eukaryotic mostly the cells are unicellular and sometimes they are attached with the help of mucilage to form colony the cells have a central vacuole 
cells are uninucleate with many discoid or two large plate-like parietal chromatophores. The photosynthetic pigments in diatom are chlorophyll A, chlorophyll C1 and chlorophyll C2. Fucoxanthin, which is a carotenoid, is a dominant pigment which gives golden brown color to the cell. Diatoxanthin and diadenoxanthin are other carotenoids which are found in diatoms. The storage product in diatom is oil and chrysolaminary is located in vesicles in the cell. When we see the structure of navicula, externally it is boat like in shape. There is a central raphe, a central nodule, two polar nodules and wall markings known as stream. Internally the cell has a large vacuole. In the center there is present a cytoplasmic bridge in which single nucleus is found. There are two large plate-like parietal chromatophores and these chromatophores appear golden brown in color due to the presence of dominant pigment fucoxanthin. Storage product is present in the form of lipid droplets. The cell division or asexual method of reproduction in diatoms is very characteristic. During cell division, the parent cell divides by mitosis forming two daughter cells. In the daughter cell, the parent cell wall becomes the epitheca of the two daughter cells and each daughter cell forms a new hypotheca. As a result of the cell division, one of the daughter cells is smaller in size than the parent cell and one cell is similar to the parent cell in size. So after several cell divisions, the cell size in diatoms goes on decreasing. The sexual reproduction is a means for size restoration of the cell. Sexual reproduction in diatoms may be isogamous or oogamous. After the fusion of gametes, oxospore or zygote is formed which enlarges in size and restores the original size of the cell. In centric diatoms, the male gamete is motile. It has single pentonematic or tinsel flagellum. While female gamete or egg is large and non-motile. So centric diatoms show oogamous type of sexual reproduction. In pinnate diatoms such as navicula, both the gametes are non-flagellated and amoeboid and pinnate diatoms show isogamous type of sexual reproduction. In the centric diatoms, the female cell or oogonium has a nucleus which divides by meiosis forming four nuclei. Out of these four nuclei, three nuclei degenerate forming a single haploid nucleus and protoplast surrounding this nucleus forms the female gamete or haploid egg. In the male cell, the male nucleus divides by meiosis forming four nuclei. By second division, eight nuclei may be formed. So in male cells, four male gametes or eight male gametes are formed. These male gametes have single pentonematic or tinsel flagellum. So these are motile. Male gamete reaches the female gamete or egg and fuses with the egg cell forming a zygote which is known as oxospore. The oxospore enlarges in size. The older epitheca and hypotheca are removed and the oxospore secretes a new epitheca and hypotheca thereby restoring the cell size. In pinnate diatoms, the sexual reproduction is isogamous. The two fusing cells come together and lie within a common mucilage. The nucleus which is diploid in each cell divides by meiosis forming four nuclei. Out of these four nuclei, two nuclei degenerate and two remain functional. So in each cell, two amoeboid gametes are formed. 
one amoeboid gamete of one cell fuses with the amoeboid gamete of another cell forming two diploid zygotes or oxospores these oxospores enlarge in size older hypothecia and epithecia are removed the zygote or oxospore is surrounded by a thin membrane which is known as perizonia soon after the oxospore secretes its own new epithecia and hypothecia thereby the oxospore restores the size of the cell dye atoms are very important economically they are important source of food to aquatic animals phenolic content and fucoxanthin found in dye atoms has antioxidant properties dye atoms are rich in lipids so they are a possible candidate of biofuel production the fossil siliceous crustules of dye atoms are used in many industries these siliceous crustules are used as abrasives in polishing powders and toothpastes dye atomaceous earth or dye atomite is another name of the siliceous crustules of dye atoms these are recovered from deposits and are used in insulation as an abrasive in paints and varnishes to give them a gloss dye atomite is porous and chemically inert therefore it is used in filtration of sugar alcohols antibiotics and other pharmaceutical compounds dye atomite is also used as an absorbent of nitroglycerin during the manufacture of dynamite